Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome back to an, back to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we hit back with Quick Hits twice a day. Every day, Quick Hits comes at you. Uh, take the 10 minutes to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, let's get started on uh, on the uh, on today's show. Uh, Demetrius Andre has come out and made some interesting comments in an interview. Uh, we're going to get into all that. Um, he said that. Eddie Hearn had offered uh, $40 million to Canelo uh, to fight him uh, when Canelo opted to fight Kovalev. Um, we know that Andre had called out Triple G, and uh, Eddie Hearn said he couldn't get Andre to take the fight. Uh, we know that Andre had called out uh, Big Tarlo. Um, and, and basically, Andre is now 33 years old. He, he doesn't really have a career-defining win. His best wins are Saliski and Andra, uh, Andrade and um, Marta Rosen. Um, he doesn't really have any big-time wins outside of And those really aren't big-time wins either. And, and, and the question is, he being ducked. Um, he's tremendously skilled. His, his skills are out of this world. Um, he falls asleep behind the wheel. He seems to lack motivation at times, but there's no denying his skills, right? So you look through his his names, and I'm just going to run through them real quick. Um, Liam Williams, okay. Luke Killer, not a great name. Selisky, okay. Artur Akavov, not a great name. Walter Cotton, Cotton Dakwa, not a great name. Alantis Fox, not a great name. Jack Wilkay, not a great name. Willie Nelson, that's a good name. Dario Fabian Puchetta, we're not even going to address that. Uh, Brian Rose, Vonis Marta Rosen, there's the, there's the, the, there's the best name. Freddie Hernandez, um, and then you go early, early into his career. There's not much there. I mean, it's not a, a, a terrible resume, but for somebody who is as good as Andre, and Andre is tremendously skilled, you you would think he would have better names and better fights. And he just hasn't gotten them. Um, and is it Andre's fault? Is he not motivated? You know, he originally started with Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing uh, and then said, well, maybe he needs a bigger promoter. And he, then he signed with Eddie Hearn, one of the biggest names in the sport, one of the big three names in the sport. He hasn't gotten any bigger fights. As a matter of fact, it's probably gotten worse. So it wasn't DeGuardia that wasn't able to get him fights. You know, you look at DeGuardia. DeGuardia gets Joe Smith fights. He gets Chris Algieri fights. So, look, Algeria's fought Khan, he's fought Spence, he's fought Pacquiao, he's fought Provodnikov. Uh, Joe Smith Jr. has fought every big name at 175. So it's not the Guardian that, that's unable to get him to fight. It's something else. Um, is it Andre doesn't want to fight, but it doesn't seem that way. Andre agreed to fight Billy Joe, and Billy Joe pops for a banned substance. I, I forget what it was. Uh, he's called out Charlo. That fight can't seem to get made. He calls out Triple G, and he hears his Triple G wants nothing to do with him. And, and, and this Canelo thing is interesting because you can't say Canelo ducks anyone because Canelo ducks ev- uh, Canelo fights everybody. And then he went up to 175 to fight Canelo uh, to fight Kovalev. It's hard to say he ducks Andre to fight Kovalev. That's not really a duck, but is he avoiding? Is he kind of sidestepping him? It's an interesting point. Um, Kenny Smith, the basketball analyst, said that you know when he was on the Rockets team that won two championships, that they probably wouldn't have won any championships had they had to play the Sonics at that particular time. And, and the Sonics, one time they got they lost somehow in the first round um, to Denver after being up two games none and then lost three in a row. Um, and then I, I forget how, but they never had to play. Houston never had to play Seattle. They were able to avoid them throughout the playoffs. And, and it became a dynasty and one of the great teams of all time. And Kenny Smith said, "We don't know that. I don't know that we could be, have beaten them." 
I'm not saying Canelo can't beat Andre because I would pick Canelo to beat Andre because Andre falls asleep behind the wheel. But do you think a part of the Canelo, just is, I, there's no need for me to fight him, so I'm not going to fight him. Um, that maybe this guy is all wrong for me. You know, he's an athlete. He's a bigger hitter. He's quicker. He's got a ton of skills. He's just, I don't know. I don't really know what's wrong with Andre. He doesn't seem to put it all together. Liam Williams was giving him tough work. Um. You know, he's not young anymore. He's in the Olympics 13 years ago. I- I'd like to see Andre get a big fight. It, it seems he's not going to get it. He's 33 years old now. Um, I-, I don't see it getting better for him. Um, is he being ducked, though? That's the question. He's avoided. It's hard to say ducked, though. Because right? it's hard to say I ducked you and then fought Kovalev. Or I ducked you for Jacobs and for Billy Joe and so on and so on. Now, Billy Joe fell the test. That's why Billy Joe couldn't fight him. Um, Charlo, I would love to see the Charlo fight. I would, but you know, there's from. The risk. So I don't really know where he goes from here. Um, but Andre is uniquely skilled. And after what he did at the Canelo press conference, I don't think Canelo is going to fight him. Um, and I don't think Triple G is going to fight him because Triple G is waiting. Triple G can't beat him. And then Triple G, if he lost to Andre, would all intents and purposes lose the Canelo fight, which is a big payday. So he's not going to do that. He's not going to take that risk. It's not worth the risk for Triple G to take it. I, I don't know. I mean, can Andrade go out at 68, fight Billy Joe at 68? Can can Billy Joe come down to 60 and fight him? Can he go to 68 and fight uh, you know, the names that they have at, at, at 68? Um, Williams, I mean, um, Smith, uh, Callum Smith, uh, Zach Parker. I mean, again, those names aren't great names. They're better than what he's fighting. Andre's in a tough spot, and I, I like Boo Boo. Um, and I'd like to see him get his big fight. I'd like to get see him get his opportunity to prove himself on the biggest stage. It's just, uh, you know, he's been a champion since what? When did he win his belt against Marta Rosen? 2013. He's been a champion for eight years. <laughs> he's been a champion for eight years. And uh, he has <laughs> and the best name on his resume, you know, and, and the, his best title defense is Willie Nelson, um, Saliski. I mean, these are his best defenses in eight years. I got, I mean, I'm not knocking. I like Boo Boo, but I mean, that's not great. That's 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 not great. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Is, is Boo Boo being ducked? Is he being avoided? Is is it his fault? Is he just being mismanaged, mispromoted? Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, remember, 3D Boxing uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Tomorrow we're going to break down Figueroa and Neary before we get into that fight. That's going to be small episodes. Uh, there's also a brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which will be uploaded content. I just did some good interviews with some local fighters in Texas. Uh, please check that out. Uh, it is May 13th, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get uh, the Iron Boy in uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.